Those are pot smokers in Washington state celebrating the legalization of marijuana there. In November, voters in Washington and in Colorado approved measures decriminalizing weed. But plenty of people oppose legalization. Tonight, I want to introduce you to one of the country's leading anti-pot advocates. Kevin Sabat is a former Obama White House drug policy advisor. He's now the director of the University of Florida's Drug Policy Institute. And this week, Kevin, along with former Rhode Island Congressman Patrick Kennedy, kicked off a new initiative called Project SAM. SAM, S-A-M, stands for Smart Approaches to Marijuana. Kevin is coming to us tonight from Denver. Kevin, welcome inside the war room. Well, thanks for having me, Governor. It's a pleasure. All right. So why is the legalization of marijuana for recreational use a bad idea? Well, I think what we want to do is look at a public health perspective with marijuana. And so that means we would reject either extreme dichotomy. And that's what Project Sam is about. On the one hand, um, old policies of incarceration and prohibition. But on the other hand, what is sort of being rebranded as new, but, but is not new, legalization. And we already have enough problems with our two legal drugs, alcohol and tobacco. They're widely promoted by an industry that lives off of other people's addiction. They're widely normal normalized, advertised. Um, I don't think we need another problem in, uh, in society, and marijuana would do that. That doesn't mean that we can't reform our current marijuana laws, make sure people with small amounts of possession on their record, for example, are not stigmatized, make sure they can get a job in the future so they can actually exit the illicit economy, give them a lot of uh, opportunities. But Congressman Kennedy and I, we're, we're thrilled to, to launch this project because we think we need actually a new conversation, a smart conversation that rejects maybe what might fit on a bump sticker, but is at least based in science. So are, when you say based in science, are you yeah. arguing that the smart um, initiatives that you're talking about yeah. are based in brain science, or is it more in an economic pragmatic, um, do you have an, more an economic or pragmatic take on it? I think it's both. I mean, I think on the one hand, we've learned so much about marijuana today from the last 30 years. It's sort of uh, ironic that in the last 30 years, we've also seen the ascendance of legalization. I mean, we know that today's marijuana is not your marijuana of the Woodstock days of what people might have smoked in their dorms pretty harmlessly in the 60s or 70s. It's five to seven times uh, more potent. It also has less of other ingredients like CBD, which actually don't make you high. And, um, and what's that, what that does to the adolescent brain is startling. We've learned over the last 15 years, for example, heavy persistent use leads to significant IQ loss among young people. We've learned that the British Medical Journal told us a few months ago that their most comprehensive study they've ever done showed that marijuana intoxication doubles your car crash risk, and that, that's high potent marijuana. So we just want to get the public health message, the scientific message out there for the American people to know about. Since the only discussion on this seems to be bombarded with legalization and a promise of revenue a promise of getting right. rid of the cartels, which actually, well, and, and they actually there isn't much of an evidence base for that. For every dollar we get in alcohol and tobacco revenue, we spend $10 in social costs. It's no accident that liquor, the liquor lobby and the liquor industry targets minorities in disadvantaged neighborhoods. There are three to four times more liquor stores in those neighborhoods right. than in upper class white neighborhoods. That's totally going to happen agree. with marijuana. Yeah. Well, let me, let me just ask you, though. I mean, um, Congressman Patrick Kennedy, former congressman, mm -hmm. um, says that marijuana, and you just said it too, has negative effects on the brain, including lowering right. the IQ. There, you know, there, as you know, there's been a ton of studies all over the map on this. There was a recent study from the University of California, San Diego, saying that a teen who consumes alcohol is likely to have reduced brain mm -hmm. tissue health, but a teen who uses marijuana is not. So, the, you know, the, I think for a lot of people who are watching, especially yeah. who are hoping that marijuana laws um, are loosened so that personal responsibility kicks in, they would say mm. that the science on this is not as clear as you are making it out to be. Well, actually, if you really look at the science, that I mean, it, that is pretty clear. I mean, for example, on our board, I mean, you know, Patrick Kennedy, and also, by the way, David Frum is a conservative. We actually have a right-left coalition. While they're, they might be the glitz and glamour, the majority of people on board are public health professionals, and these are the people on the front lines dealing with this every day. This doesn't mean that we're not saying reefer madness type arguments that if you smoke marijuana, you're gonna, you know, immediately do heroin or you're gonna die. We're not saying that. We know that one out of every six kids that try marijuana will become addicted to it. Okay. That's 
that's not six out of six, but that's probably something and plenty to worry about. Um, we, we also know, for example, the IQ study that I cited, I mean, you can't even put that on the same level as this UCSD study that, that has a lot of questions that you studied. Mm -hmm. the, the New Zealand study on IQ followed um, people for 38 years of their life. It was, the, it was an entire village in New Zealand in 1972 and 1973 that were recruited for what scientists call a uh, longitudinal uh, study. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I, I mean, th that's a very comprehensive. Very Again, it's not reefer madness, but it's something new, and we need to talk about it in a comprehensive way. All right, way. well, I, I appreciate you coming on to talk about, um, you know, it's a little bit uh, surprising because it seems to I have know. been the whole trajectory going in the other direction. Kevin That's Sabet right. of yeah. Smart Approaches to Marijuana. Coming up, the best of the rest. A couple of tidbits we want you to know about before you start the weekend, including the entertainment lineup for Monday's inauguration. That and more right after the break.